Tweetsy. It's a funny word, right? Say it with me. Tweetsy. It may be a funny word, but it's also an iconic brand. The name of a historic railroad. The name of a North Carolina amusement park. And, of interest to us, a rail trail that connects two towns in the northeast corner of Tennessee, Johnson City and Elizabethton. It's a trail that will take us through walls that were once solid rock, across bridges that span soothing rivers and creeks, through beautiful meadows and valleys, past an old rock quarry, right smack dab through the middle of small town America, under busy thoroughfares, past a house of God, and a house of waffles, <laughs> and across an iconic bridge that will carry you high above the traffic below. We're gonna do 20 miles on the Tweetsy Trail on this edition of Joyful Trails. This was one of those bike trips where I got up and out at the crack of dawn. I was on a mission. I secured my beloved townie to the bike carrier and made my way across some beautiful mountain scenery, first to North Carolina and then into Tennessee. Around these parts, JC doesn't just stand for Johnny Cash or Johnny Carson or the Penny's department store. Here it stands for Johnson City a city that straddles three counties with a population of 72,514. Today she sits on 43.75 square miles. She was founded in 1856 by Henry Johnson as a railroad station called Johnson's Depot. It became a major rail hub for the Southeast and served as headquarters for the narrow gauge East Tennessee and Western North Carolina Railroad, also known as the Tweetsie. During the Civil War, the name of the town was briefly changed to Haynesville to honor Confederate Senator Landon Carter Haynes, but Henry Johnson's name was quickly restored following the war when Johnson was elected as the town's first mayor. Incorporated in 1869, Johnson City grew rapidly thanks to railroad and mining interests. Johnson City is home base to East Tennessee State Woke Indoctrination Center and its 16,000 impressionable young skulls full of mush, as Rush Limbaugh used to say. There are subtle reminders around Johnson City that this is a college town. <laughs> You'll see the letters ATSU all over town, on overpasses, on street signs, even spelled out in shrubbery. Now there's another funny word for you, shrubbery. Turn to your neighbor and say, shrubbery. During the 1920s, Johnson City was quite the bootlegging hotbed, earning the city the nickname of Little Chicago. Chicago gang boss Al Capone even got involved. By the way, the popular soft drink Mountain Dew traces its origins to Johnson City. And looky here, apparently Bud Light has enlisted volunteer quarterback and Tennessee's favorite son to try to climb out of that Dylan Mulvaney hole they dug for themselves. Really, Peyton? Hawking alcohol to college kids? Didn't Archie raise you better than that? Speaking of football, a famous person who spent his childhood in Johnson City is Steve Spurrier, Heisman Trophy winning quarterback and Hall of Fame coach, aka the headball coach. But enough about Steve Spurrier, Mountain Dew, and shrubbery. We've got a trail to ride. Let's go check out the Tweetsie Trail. Right now it's all falling apart. Right now you don't know where to start Right now the walls are caving in Right now you don't know where to begin 
right now you're searching high and low And right now you don't know where to go Right now you hear the thunder roar Right now it feels like you lost the war Call on me To the other side Call on me I'll help you ease your pain And if you only knew That I'm right here for you Call on me Right now you're fading to the dark Get you through to the other side Call on me I hold you when you cry Call on me I get you through to the other side Call on me I'll help you ease your pain And if you only knew Then I'm right here for you Stick around for some scenic attractions from downtown Elizabethton and our star rating. But first, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to the channel. I would appreciate that very much. We recently passed 3,000 subscribers. Yes. Yes. I'm happy about that. And while you hit that subscribe button, here's another installment of Responding to Comments. Responding to comments. Speaking of subscribers, Robert Ganther 3695 says you should get a sidecar on your bike for your dad. Now that would get you a lot of new subscribers. Would it though? Would it? Really? I don't know. Dan Lee 53 says, is it true that you're the Bachman of Bachman Turner Overdrive? Inquiring minds want to know. While I am a musician, I am pretty sure I'm not the Bachman from Bachman Turner Overdrive. 
Uh, in fact, I don't think I'm even related to those guys. If I am, then I left a lot of money on the table. You know what I'm saying? But I am wearing a taken care of business t-shirt. Dave Pov says, you know, with open carry here, you were taking a chance riding around Knoxville with an Alabama hoodie on. Officers are on the scene. And finally, Knoxville Easy Riders say thanks for featuring our city. We won't hold it against you for being a Bama fan as long as you don't mention Lane Kiffin. Okay, so I won't mention Lane Kiffin, but here's a picture of Coach Nick Saban teaching Lane Kiffin and Kirby Smart how to coach. This has been Responding to Comments. There's not one, but two CVS drugstores right on the Tweetsy Trail in Elizabethton, and I availed myself of one of them in order to enjoy a one bar and a Doctor Enough, which is a popular soft drink in these parts. So this is Elizabethton. It's the county seat of Carter County, Tennessee, founded in 1719, incorporated in 1905, has a population of 14,546, and she sits on 9.7 square miles. In the 1700s, famed hunter and explorer Daniel Boone played a part in establishing this community, and there's a plaque here today that attests to that fact. Originally named Tiptonville in honor of founder Samuel Tipton, the town was later renamed Elizabethton by Landon Carter and David McNabb. They were two Tennessee General Assemblymen and they named the town in honor of their wives who were both named Elizabeth. I love that story. Elizabethton became a rail hub, of course, and the tweets he ran from Johnson City to Elizabethton and eventually to Boone, North Carolina. Elizabethton was first served by inexpensive hydroelectric power during the early 1910s, resulting in the nickname City of Power. In 1929, Margaret Bowen famously led a walkout of 523 female workers at a local plant in Elizabethton. After the women had been gone for about 20 minutes, one of the plant's male workers reportedly said, my, my, sure is nice and quiet in here. And then another one of the mail workers reportedly said, he who smelt it, dealt it. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure none of that happened. I mean, except the walkout, the walkout did happen. The city of Elizabethton is home to both the oldest building in the state of Tennessee and one of the first written constitutional governments west of the Appalachian Mountains. Elizabethton is the kind of town where you'll find places like the Simple Blessings General Store, Jiggy Ray's Pizzeria, and an old school retro arcade. There's even a shop called Sweetsy Treats. Ah, I see what you did there. As I ventured off the Tweetsy Trail a little bit, I found an area of downtown Elizabethton that is simply fantastic. You need to see it to believe it. Stick around to experience it for yourself through the modern miracle of video. But first, let's talk about this trail. The Tweetsie Trail is a 20 mile out and back rail trail with a surface of compacted crushed stone and gravel. There is some loose stone that is kind of collected and piled up a bit and it will grab your tires now and then, so y'all just be careful out there, you hear? The trail opened in 2014, and there's a gradual descent in elevation as you travel from Johnson City to Elizabethton, crossing seven bridges. They've done a great job with signage. There are nice maps along the way to let you know where you are. Lots of mile markers and placards aplenty. I don't know when I've seen so many informational signs and placards. Everything from the Tweetsy story, to the Tweetsy in Hollywood, to Tweetsy trees and Tweetsy birds, geology of the area, the train itself, 
and more. Pretty much all things Tweetsy. You can rest for a spell on these cool rustic benches found all along the trail. There are several street crossings, but I found motorists to be quite courteous and accommodating. There are restrooms. There are porta potties, but also there's this one in Elizabethton, which was large enough for me to take my bike in with me. You can enjoy a picnic lunch at this nice shelter. Thanks, Rotary Club. And you'll see reminders of the old railroad all along the trail. This, by the way, is the Tribal Council area. If you're doing a group ride, you can just stop and vote somebody off the trail. <laughs> this trail comes into contact with several churches. I just think it'd be cool to go to church and have the Tweetsie Trail literally cross your front yard. The trail goes right by the Tri-Cities Gun Depot. Follow them on Facebook or else. A few features to point out would include Milligan Depot in honor of a passenger stop along the Tweetsie Railroad from back in the day. The view here is gorgeous. There's also the Van Brocklin Overlook at the site of an old quarry once operated by the Cranberry Furnace Company. And if you so choose, you can get off your bike and traverse this cool little footbridge near Mary Patton's Powder Mill, the spot where Mary and her husband John manufactured gunpowder for Patriot soldiers during the Revolutionary War. Our exclusive Joyful Trail star rating is coming up as well as very scenic footage from downtown Elizabethton, Tennessee. Don't go anywhere. But first, while still on the trail, I decided to duck into a Freddy's and enjoy a double steak burger and some skinny fries. What you talking about? Not only that, I topped it all off with an orange cream frost. And this place is literally right on the Tweetsie Trail. I can highly recommend Freddy's frozen custard and steak burgers. As I moved deeper into downtown Elizabethton, I came across this veterans monument originally constructed and dedicated in 1912. So that was cool. But then I looked over to my left and discovered a great little downtown gathering spot featuring a dam and an iconic covered bridge. A weir dam or low head dam was needed here years ago to help supply water for a mill. Well, the mill is long gone, but the dam remains. Nearby, there's a historic covered bridge over the Doe River, built in 1882 at a cost of just $3,300. So I was there at the covered bridge getting some footage with my trusty 360 camera when two couples came walking by and one of the guys looked at me and he said, hey, aren't you that guy that does the Joyful Trails videos on YouTube? I said, yes, sir, I'm afraid I am. And uh, one, of the, one of the ladies was heard remarking, we were just talking about you in one of your videos that you did in Asheville, North Carolina. I'm like, get out of here, small world. Well, we ended up talking about trails for a good 10 minutes or so. I've said it before, I'll say it again. You meet the nicest people on bike trails.
so what do we think about the Tweetsie Trail? Johnson City to Elizabethton, why should you visit Northeast Tennessee? Well, I'll tell you, it was a blind date for me. The first time I'd ever been there, I had never laid eyes on the Tweetsie Trail before. Did I fall head over heels in love? No. Would I like a second date to just kind of see what happens and take it from there? Absolutely. No, I like this trail a lot for all of the reasons that we've already mentioned. I will say this, the first one-third of the trail, leaving from the iconic sign in Johnson City, is really where it's at. The two-thirds that comes into and through Elizabethton is more of a commuter trail for local folks to get around without a car or just to get some exercise, but it's that first third of the trail that has the bridges and is rustic and beautifully scenic. But on the other hand, if you veer off the trail in Elizabethton to take in the covered bridge and enjoy the soothing sounds of the dam, well, that's a good time too. I thoroughly enjoyed my day in Johnson City and Elizabethton. I wrestled with giving it a four, but I'm gonna land on three stars for the Tweetsie Trail in Northeastern Tennessee. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with like-minded cycling enthusiasts. Here's two more videos that YouTube thinks you'll like just as much. Why don't you watch those next? Join me again next time as we once again attempt to find a little joy in the journey. <laughs>